In this video, we are going to talk about why it's time to stop using the operator on Jet. Yeah, that's right, you one-trick op crutch Jet mains. Your time is up. If you haven't been paying attention, Team Liquid recently added Scream's younger brother, Nevera, to their roster. Prior to this move, Nevera had been standing in for Team Vitality in Counter-Strike, a top three team in the world. Besides brotherly love, the most interesting part of this move is Nevera is known as an opper, which gives Liquid two potential oppers, which we normally associate with Jet. And then there's Scream, who plays Jet on many of the maps, but doesn't op. The most prevalent meta for months has been to give your Jet player the op and let them go nuts. We saw it at Masters and basically every top team in the world has a superstar Jet opper. This idea has even caused incredible rifling Rays and Reyna players like Asuna for 100 Thieves to be forced onto Jet to try and conform with the meta, with only varying degrees of success. Team Liquid have even tried this approach too with Scream, and it's pretty clear that he is really just a pure rifler, and both Yampi and Nevera look much more comfortable with the op. For a lot of teams, this might cause major issues because we have been stuck in this Jet plus Op equals win mindset for so long. The thing is, Jet is also an incredibly important agent for breaking onto a site with her smoke and dash combo, and Scream is disgustingly good at playing her as an entry fragger. Yes, that is an Opping Astra you're seeing. And yes, it also works quite well. An often overlooked fact is that an agent like Astra is pretty good with an op since you can lock down one site with your operator and then use your utility on the other side of the map to lock down that site. More than any other team I've seen so far, Team Liquid seems to view the op as simply just another tool for doing a specific job. In this round, you'll notice that they currently have Nevera holding an angle on a heaven as Viper with the op, and then decide to rotate him and switch positions with Solkas. And they pass the gun over during that rotation so that it continues to hold the same angle in a heaven despite being on another agent. Instead of being constrained by the narrative that Jet uses sniper rifles sometimes, and Jet also entries sometimes, Team Liquid have simply decided to do both at the same time. In this example, notice how Yampy starts with the Operator to try and find an early pickoff, then when no one on G2 gives him a shot, Team Liquid sets up to execute onto the site. Watch how Yampy and Nevera switch weapons, and then Yampy does jet things, dashing in and creating chaos to get Liquid an opportunity to plant. This is not just a one-time thing either. In this clip with Scream on Jet, he starts the round with a Marshall, and then swaps weapons with Nevera so that he can dash in for close-range fights with the Spectre instead. By separating Jet from the Operator, you also get to do cool things like this moment, where Scream creates an aggressively positioned distraction, abusing Jet's mobility, while Yampy slips into position behind him for an easy pickoff on the enemy opper. That's almost as smart as me distracting you with this video while asking you to subscribe to the channel. Having Sova sit far back with a big gun actually makes a lot of sense, considering how Sova's normally play to get value from their utility. It's not like Team Liquid are against opping with Jet either, as they will happily let Yampy run wild with the powerful combo. What they don't do is force it every single map or let it dictate what agent compositions they want to run. In fact, they are willing to go a step further. In numerous rounds during the last chance qualifier, Team Liquid bought two ops on defense and sometimes neither of them would be used by Jet. With the right coordination, this creates an incredibly difficult scenario where the attacking team cannot simply scout the op with utility and then rotate to the other site. Instead, they are basically forced to push into an op either way, and on top of that, Team Liquid are enabling Scream to pop off with aggressive positioning before falling back to the covering fire of his brother's operator. On Breeze, Team Liquid even runs Scream on Jet, but buys Double Operator anyway. It creates so many different dangers to deal with and forces the other team to completely adjust months and months of mental programming to deal with this new idea. I won't lie, I was pretty disappointed in the professional Valorant scene to see a single op Jet combo running rampant on every single team in every single game of the professional scene. While it is an incredibly strong combination, Valorant has so many other strategies to discover and explore if we can just get past the very obvious and easy to execute ones. Watching Team Liquid play gave me a lot of hope for the strategic future of this game. By the way, at the end of the month, I'm planning on doing a community clip review stream, so be sure to send me your funniest or best clips by tweeting at ElevatedSpeaks with the hashtag VAClip. 
Also, I did most of the research for this video live on stream with chat and VODs of the live streams will be available to members of the channel who will also get priority when I do my end of the month clip review.